Well, now we come to the special feature of our show, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. And because the experts would recognize this guest by sight, we've again provided them with those lovely blindfolds. This time, each panelist gets only one question at a time. Tell me, Bennett, do we get these blindfolds off at all during this half hour? Uh, <laughs> no, I think you can wear it, you can wear it afterwards, too. Remember, you're only going to get one question at a time now, and ten no answers, and our mystery guest has won the game. Okay, are those confounded blindfolds on again? Yes, sir. You call Fine. Them. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? tell you, panel, is that John picked the wrong week to be away. And we'll start playing the game with Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you in the entertainment field? Ill? <clears throat> Ernie. Uh, uh, pardon me. The voice threw me. Uh, uh, I can't see. You know, I, I, I'm conscious of my eyes. I need all my senses for these things, Bennett. I'm down to F-22 now from wearing these things all this time. Uh, you are in the entertainment business? Ill? Yes. You'll get another question. I, I, I know this may seem idiotic, but uh, are you a girl? I think so. I think so, too. Well, uh, Wait should a minute, I wait? Uh, no, you, you can just be quiet now. No, I mean, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you in the pictures? Yeah. Caesar? Uh, have you got a uh, picture playing currently now on Broadway? I know. Oh, well, that's one down and nine to go. Dorothy. Uh, do you sing? Hmm. Yes, the answer is yes. Ernie. <laughs> now you've got your chance. Hello. Uh, you sing and you, and you, uh, you do not have a picture now. Uh, have you done a uh, musical in the, uh, in the movies within the last, uh, last uh, three years? Hello? That's two down, eight to go. Arlene. Have you appeared here in the theater? Hello? That's three down, seven to go, Caesar. Did you uh, come on the same plane with me from California a couple of days ago? I don't That's think right. so. Uh, I didn't notice the thing. You might have been smuggled up with a pilot, but I think that's <laughs> four down and six to go, Dorothy. Uh, are you a straight dramatic actress or heroine type rather than a musical comedy in films personality? What? No. That wasn't a very good thing. <laughs> Now, um, now, the answer to that is no, Dorothy. It's very right. definitely. I, I, five down, five to go. I've got it narrowed down between two people. You are either Florence Foster Jenkins or Howard Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Hughes? <laughs> are you wearing sneakers? <laughs> we only have about a minute and a half left, Arden. Well, don't look at me. I don't intend to fill it for you, Bennett. You're on your own. Something for a minute. Would you, <laughs> would you like to pass it over to Arlene? Say something. No, no, I, I passed. I passed. Uh, Arlene? Gave up? They won't tell me if it's Howard Hughes or not, and I just won't play unless they answer me. Arlene? Uh, you were asked before whether you sang. Do you also dance? Nope. That's uh, six down, four to go. Season. Uh, the mention of Howard Hughes got some sort of applause here. I wonder, could you be Gene Peters? No, that's seven down, three to go, Dorothy. Uh, are you, by any chance, a member of the cast of a movie that is opening before too long in New York called Lay Girls? Nope. Nope, that's eight down, two to go, and I'm afraid we haven't got time to go any further. Well, Ernie, take a stab at it. Nine down, one to go. Uh... I'd, I'd rather be surprised with the rest. <laughs> well, I'm surprised, panel. If you'll unmask, you'll see before you the sultry and beautiful Miss Julie London. Oh. <laughs> you see, then, Miss London, uh, would you tell us what you're in town for? Yes, Bennett, uh, we're going to do a show called The Big Record this coming Wednesday. Wednesday night mm -hmm. on, uh, I hope, the right network. Right. <laughs> well, it's nice having you. Thank you. John will be very angry he missed you. Will you say good night to the panel?
Well, that's about it. I got through it, I hope you did too. Uh, being on the wrong side of the panel is, is all right, but I'll be very happy to be back there again with you next week because John Daly gets back from Athens. He went over on that nonstop flight, the first one that ever flew from New York to Athens without a stop. And Caesar, thanks for filling in for me. I'll be back there next week. And until then, this is Bennett Surf saying good night, Dorothy. And this is Dorothy saying, I thought you loved us, Bennett. Look what you did to us. I tried to be nice to you. You're worse than John. <laughs> good night, Ernie. Uh, good night, Dorothy. Uh, I'm not sure of my own name at this point. I, we didn't do very well, did we? <laughs> good night, Arlene. <laughs> good night, Ernie. I thought you were wonderful, Bennett. Doesn't it seem funny over there? I would like to say that there is not a man in New York at this minute that is happier that it is 11 o'clock for Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Caesar. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Good night, Arlene. And good night, Bennett. And thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you all very much, panel. And good night, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you very much for being with us on What's My Line. Thank <laughs> you.